Zeno was a Greek philosopher who lived in Alia, Italy, between 490 and 430 BC. He was a student of Parmenides, who is considered to be the founder of metaphysics. Zeno is best known for a series of paradoxes that he stated and explored. One of the best known of these paradoxes is the so-called dichotomy paradox. Dichotomy comes from the Greek meaning to divide in two. Suppose we want to go to a place that's a certain distance away. To get to the destination, we first have to reach the halfway point. After reaching the halfway point, we have to travel half of the remaining path, and then half of what remains after that, and so on. This process goes on forever, and so it seems we'll never get to the end. We need to add up the times elapsed at the end of each stage to find the total time. But since the number of stages is infinite, isn't the total time going to be infinite as well? Zeno thought so. He concluded therefore that motion is impossible, or at best is an illusion. So is motion an illusion? Or was there something that Zeno didn't know? Back in those days, it was thought that the result of an infinite sum must itself be infinite. But later on, mathematicians realized that adding infinitely many numbers together can give a finite result. Suppose we want to go somewhere that's one kilometer away. But let's do the calculation from Zeno's point of view. First we have to get halfway, or half the total distance, then half of the remaining half, or one quarter of the total, then one eighth, and so on. So in terms of total distance, after the first stage we've gone half of the total distance, after the second stage we've gone three quarters of the total distance, and after the third stage we've gone seven eighths of the total distance, and so on. We can express this mathematically as 2 to the n minus 1 over 2 to the n, or 1 minus 1 over 2 to the n, where n is the number of stages. Zeno was right in saying that in order to reach the destination, we need to go an infinite number of stages. But as n gets bigger and bigger, 1 over 2 to the n gets smaller and smaller. In fact, as n goes towards infinity, 1 over 2 to the n approaches 0. So, far from the sum of our infinite number of terms shooting off to infinity, it's actually just 1. We can reach our destination, and we've resolved the dichotomy paradox. Zeno wasn't really wrong, it's just that mathematical knowledge had to develop to provide a proper explanation.